Hello everyone, hope you are doing well. It's time to have a look at the update trailer. Update Alpha Strike is what this next update is going to be called. The trailer is not very long, but I tell you what, there's a ton of information in it, which is really cool. Uh, this is one of those trailers that just shows a metric ton of vehicles, which for me is my favorite type of trailer, instead of the trailers we see usually, which, you know, focus on one specific vehicle. It's nice to start out this year with a bang, and that's exactly what this trailer is. Even though a lot of this stuff has already been leaked, there is a few little intricate things to see here, especially when it comes to mechanics. And just remember, we're probably going to have the sneak peek stuff tomorrow, probably a dev server. We'll cover all of that for you, so don't worry. I'll leave a link to the trailer also in the description if you want to check it out, so make sure to do that. Right, let's go through the trailer and uh, see what's going on. This is the back of an F-20, but we'll talk about the F-20 a little bit later on when it kind of shows what's happening. One of the areas of the map that, or of the video, I should say, that I'm not hugely sure about is this part. Now, this could be a new map, um, but also, we were actually chatting about it before with the chat, um, it feels like this might be Berlin. Uh, but So maybe a restructured Berlin or something like that. So things are in English, though. Like, you can see here that, well, you can't see with the chat, but it says Fluffy Cats uh, Coffee Shop. And then also you have, of course, the statue and then a bunch of English stuff as well. So we might be getting a rework of one of the city maps, or we might be just getting a new map in. Uh, we'll have to see as it goes forward. Usually they like to tease the maps a little bit uh, in this, uh, but generally it's not something that uh, is shown massively. We have our first cockpit, which just breezes by, and you can see here that with the writing, it is definitely not English. So this looks like a Russian uh, jet uh, kind of cockpit. It has a lovely sight in the middle. This might be the Su-25's uh, cockpit, which got leaked. It might be a different um, it might be a different vehicle as well. Who knows? But it's definitely from the eastern side of things. For me, I would guess this is the Su-25's one uh, that we talked about. Uh, since, you know, they in the leak list, there was one which is a very heavily kind of modernized variant of the Su-25, uh, which uh, is around the place. Continuing with the Russian side of things, you have a Strela. And uh, not a Strela, uh, I should say. A Shilka. <laughs> <laughs> the Strela is the missile. The Shilka is the ZSU-23-4, uh, which means it has the 423mm. We actually have a few uh, Shilkas in the game. We have one in the USSR tech tree, we have one in, I believe it's the Israeli tech tree, and maybe one somewhere else as well. Uh, what this variant of the Shilka is, is it's the ZSU-23 4M2, or the M4, or one of those. Basically, it has a new FCS uh, system, uh, so it will be able to uh, go after targets easier, probably has a better radar too, and also, you can see on the back, it has actual missiles. So now that they've put the Strela up in BR, um, which uh, is now at 10.0, I think, now this one can be in the gap between some of the earlier AAs for the Soviets and the Strela. So it'll be uh, quite nice uh, to have. It'll be very similar to stuff like the Gepard 1A2 that they added uh, more recently, and generally uh, it'll have a good time. The only real thing I'm interested in when it comes to this version of the Shilka is, is the search radar better than the previous one? Because the search radar on the Shilka is terrible. Uh, then, uh, after this modernized uh, beast, we have, of course, one of the main stars of the update. It is, of course, the F-20. The F-20 Tiger Shark was a project uh, that never really went to the extremes uh, as a lot of uh, as a lot of other American machines did. It came out at a time where it was just ended up competing against better things. It was kind of an evolution of the F5, especially the F5E, where instead of having two smaller engines, it had one large engine at the back and could carry a bunch of different ordnance options. This vehicle got beaten out basically by the F. 16 and the F-16 went into American service and then they thought, oh, well, maybe we can export the F-20 to other nations, but it was decided politically that it was okay to export the F-16. So the F-20 just lost out in every single way, which kind of sucks because it's a really cool aircraft. And as a person,
person who really enjoys the F5 series, I'm really happy to see the F20s in the game. And uh, they did say in the leak list this will be a premium. That would suck um, because it is such an iconic aircraft. Uh, it is one of those what-if aircrafts, uh, which really would have been nice if it had given been given a little bit more of a go. But it will be very similar to the F5, but it will just have more power behind it, more weaponry options, and also more maneuverability. It will be a nice vehicle, and you can see here it's holding on to the Mavericks, uh, which uh, it will be able to do ground uh, pounding, but I think its major thing it will be good at is air ordnance and air-to-air -air superiority just like the other F5s when it comes to the game. And then we have our first look at the M60-2000. So the M60-2000 is a kind of baby of an M60 and an Abrams. What they did is they took an M60-A1 chassis and they plonked an M1A1 turret onto it. The reason they did this is because they were kind of showing to a lot of nations that had old M60 chassis, hey, if you want to upgrade them at less of a cost than buying new age MBTs, you can just do this. Uh, nobody went for it, so there was only one prototype ever made, and this is that prototype. There's a better picture of it later on, so we'll uh, have a look at it. And then, of course, it's the boy. The FV721, the Fox Armoured Car. This is a beautiful little British machine, and it has the Raden gun, <laughs> so I have no idea how uh, this thing is going to do in the game. It has the same gun that is on the Warrior, um, but it doesn't have access to AT Gems. It doesn't have access to anything like that. It literally just has the Raden 30mm, the unstabilized, very slow-firing 30mm, with probably APDS. They made a ton of foxes and they were farmed out to a bunch of different nations. And also at the same time, you can see it has smoke grenades. It's a really small guy, so it's just gonna be a pretty fun scout. It probably won't have access to anything crazy, has a pretty decent engine and can go pretty quick. But at the end of the day, it just doesn't have great firepower and also uh, will just get annihilated even just by a tin can hitting it. But really nice to see it uh, nowadays. A lot of people have been asking for British, um, you know, armoured cars for the longest time, especially after the South Africans got added. Well, now you get your wish. And then we have an Alpha Jet uh, in the form of a French one. And there is actually once again later on, there is another Alpha Jet, which we'll have a look at too. There is the better look at the M60, by the way. Uh, so uh, you can see here, uh, this is what it looks like on the move. But one thing I want you to kind of look at uh, when it comes to the M60 here is look at this turret ring. Oh my god, I've, I don't think I've ever seen a bigger shot trap. I don't, <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen anything that is just going to eat rounds as much as that. If you've ever played an Abrams, you already know that turret ring is a big weak spot. Now, imagine you just made it bigger. I don't really see any extra armor either on the M60 chassis. One of the key questions about this vehicle is what will happen uh, when it comes to its engine? Does it get the M60A1 engine or does it get an upgraded engine? And that will make a big difference on what BR this thing will be at. But wherever it's at, it's going to be really odd. You know, it has obviously the decent gun. It looks like on there it's a 105, but I'm pretty sure it should be a 120. Um, that might just be, you know, depth perception and stuff like that screwing with me. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be very, very odd to try and balance this machine. Then uh, you have the inside of another cockpit. Pretty sure this is the F-20s uh, that they've been working on. And then our first look at a Chinese Wonder Boy. So you know how uh, we talked about uh, before the ZBD-04 um, or the ZBD-04A, I think it was. But uh, yeah, this is the BMD for, for China. It's a box uh, with access to a 100 millimeter uh, rifled gun, or maybe not rifled, but it's it's a gun. And then it also has a coaxial 30 millimeter. So set up incredibly similarly. You can see the 30 millimeter right here. <clears throat> and then you have the 100 millimeter here. Set up incredibly similarly to like the BMD4 and also the BMP3. So it can fire AT gems out of its out of its main cannon. 
and then probably like a HE or a heat shell or something like that. And then also it has a 30 millimeter in the form of coaxial. So this will be really nice. And also it'll have decent mobility. It won't have a lot of survivability, uh, but it does have smoke grenades and it should have thermals and also scouting, of course. So this one will be a lovely addition to the uh, Chinese tech tree uh, to play at the higher echelons, uh, which will be nice. And then we have a great reveal. Uh, this is the Hungarian air tech tree. Uh, so this is going to be the uh, the uh, the sub tech tree uh, for Italy of Hungary. So you know how we got Hungarian ground forces? Now it's time for Hungarian air forces. There's already a few around the place, but here um, you can kind of see all the vehicles that's going to be in there, right? So they've taken some of the better vehicles in the Soviet tech tree and the Swedish tech tree and pumped them into Italy. So we have uh, from, you know, up here and across, we have the IL-10, the TU-2, what looks like either a LA series, like an LA-9 or a late tier Yak. Uh, so maybe a Yak-3 of some uh, distinction. IL-28, MiG-21, MiG-17, MiG-15, another MiG-21, the MiG-23, uh, the Gripen, the SU-22, and then also the MiG-29. So they're getting a lot of bangers, you know? <laughs> they're really getting a lot of bangers, and this will also help Italy in that jet area where they're really struggling in those kind of mid-tiers of jets, especially with stuff like the MiG-21s and the MiG-17s. This will bolster those areas very well. The IL-10, TU-2, all great and everything. But yeah, so obviously we don't know the variants of these, uh, but that is kind of what's there. They do also later on show another Hungarian vehicle that's around the place. This is the Hungarian Gripen. You can see here it does have Mavericks on them, but these are brown Mavericks. Um, I don't know if I've ever seen brown Mavericks. Uh, we probably have them in game already, uh, but yeah, they're, they're a very odd color and they definitely... Uh, kind of sit themselves out, right? Like they're, <laughs> they're a little bit odd. And of course, the M60 once again, getting battered by an F... The the weird one about this, right? And I wish they didn't do it like this, but um, the, the vehicle that actually does the drive-by here, this is the F20. So for some reason, the F20 is trying to hammer an M60-2000. You know, maybe, maybe in an alternate universe, but I've always found that a bit weird. The good thing about this shot is you can see what armament uh, the... F-20 has, so it can carry six sidewinders of either AIM-9Ls or AIM-9Ms. Uh, my guess would be AIM-9Ls, uh, because if they added AIM-9Ms to it, it would be a pretty high BR vehicle. And uh, if you have a look at stuff like the F-16A, for example, at 11.0, it has access to six AIM-9Ls. Wouldn't be surprised if this vehicle was like 11.7 with kind of a similar armament, and then, yeah, it'll have a good time. Should be quite fun uh, around the place. Then uh, some kind of HMD for helicopters. Uh, so you can see this kind of new uh, hood here uh, that you'll be able to see. So this will be great for VR guys. Uh, you'll be able to see what's going on. The Yak-3. Uh, don't know which version of the Yak-3, but it is definitely a Yak-3 uh, for Hungary uh, alongside the TU-2. I really like the actual insignias and decals that these uh, things have. And also the colors. Like that, that it's a very bright green, you know? It's, um, uh, the, uh, I don't think they're walleyes, so I think they're just mavericks. They, they, I mean, they could be walleyes. Um, uh, but, uh, I like the bright green that Hungary is bringing. Uh, the, it's a very high contrast compared to what we've seen previously. And then, of course, the MiG-29 and the Gripen together. My god, uh, once again, you know, if, if you want to get to these jets quickly, you better start grinding the Italian tree. You'll be able to get these so much quicker than other tech trees, and it's just going to be kind of crazy when they decide to do it. And then there's a little tidbit, once again, the Alpha Jet, you know, this uh, vehicle uh, which is coming in. It's another kind of strike aircraft slash trainer slash whatever you want to call it, very similar to the AMX International, very similar to stuff like the SU-25, the A-10, in how it's at least going to work in War Thunder. So it's probably going to have some pretty crazy armaments, but its engines, it's not going to be a supersonic, um, you know, uh, it's not going to be a supersonic uh, a capable vehicle. It's just going to hover around the 900 to 1,000 kilometers an hour and be able to end you with some crazy weapons. I also want you to have a look at the map <laughs> in the background, because obviously 
That map ain't in War Thunder, is it? That map looks very different and looks very similar to certain European countries. There's a reason why they're using some very bright colours. And you'll see it in this one as well, but this is obviously more destroyed. Unfortunately, the Alpha uh, jet is destroying what looks like the IFV from Japan. I uh, don't know if they're going to get a, an upgraded version, but I don't think they will. It's just getting battered for some reason. Um, <laughs> and then, of course, the little Foxy moving around, having a great time. Some BTRs getting annihilated by an Apache and uh, showing the HMD off. And then once again, uh, showing that this is uh, going to be like for VR and then obviously for general controls, which is just nuts at the end of the day. And there you go. There is uh, the F-20, here is another cockpit, probably the F-20 cockpit, Estrella, um, sorry, not Estrella, I keep saying it, an Igla destroying an A-10, by the way, right, look at this loadout this A-10 has, this dude is, is just going full rocket, full rocket, what are you doing? At least get some other ordnance on, you know, get some AIM-9Ls in, get some, get some Mavs in. Who goes full rocket? Ridiculous. This guy was just hunting to be destroyed. But yeah, Strella annihilating as we go. There is the French Alpha uh, jet, but then also there is the German one. So this one is going to be farmed out to pretty much everybody, right? The, the, the Alpha jet, uh, just like, or just... Uh, the the alpha jet is one of those which was used by so many different countries and for so many different reasons so you'll have a bunch of different ones in different tech trees and they'll all have slightly different armaments you know how they've done like many other vehicles before so we'll check out all of that stuff and see if uh, that's around the uk did use the alpha jet the canadians also use the alpha jet as well and here is some more of the hungarian vehicles so we have what looks like an su-22 um, up there then also uh, we have the mig-21 with what looks like a countermeasure pod so i'm guessing that's the smt or the mf we have a standard mig-21 which is probably an earlier version of it uh, then uh, we have a mig-17 uh, with the chunky chunky fuselage and this is a mig-19 so uh, you have uh, some pretty different vehicles there and that MiG-19 was not shown in that kind of overlay that they did of the Hungarian uh, vehicles, which just seems kind of odd. I don't know why they just missed it out. Maybe they wanted to make a square or something. Um, but overall, you got the Yak-3 and the Tu-2 again, the F-20, just showing some other stuff that we've seen before. And that's it. Like, the trailer has a ton of really cool stuff in it. And it's really nice to see all of these general things coming. We have some mechanics in this trailer. We have some, you know, we have a ton of vehicles in this trailer. A lot of stuff to be very hyped about. But one of the big things that we're missing from the leak lists, from the dev blogs, from the teaser trailer, from everything, is naval. Where is naval? What's going on with naval? What's happening with it? Where is it going? What is going to happen with naval? That should be the question on everybody's minds. As always though, uh, we'll be covering all of the new information as it comes out. Make sure to look after yourselves. Peace be with you, and I'll see you next time. I'd like to thank Schnitzel Stroker, Brendan Quinn, Vilnaeus, Character Fuel, Carrion Crow, Nicholas Richardson, Gus Irenicus, Pyman, Wartinder, Teddy, Daniel Stanton, B. Young, Opium Prime, Masonocrats, Lafouche, Alan Hacker, Sam Arslan, Uncle Bean, and Derek R. for supporting the channel.